Hi YouTubers, this is Sassy Sarah. I'm coming back to you after my daughter's first birthday party, which was, in my opinion, a great success. Uh, many of the things that I created, I actually used. Um, I think the only thing that maybe didn't pan out was the bunting that we had done um, because it rained the day before. So I wasn't able to put it in the backyard, but no biggie. Everything turned out beautiful. Um, I'm also going to be posting a quick little snapshot of... Um, how the birthday turned out. I don't have the professional photos yet, but um, the pictures that the family took and everything turned out well, and I did a little video, but I'll be posting that later on. Today, I just really quickly want to cover the centerpieces um, that I made, and these, I just wanted to show you, let me see, were my centerpieces. Um, basically, my centerpieces were used to... Um, to hold my utensils and uh, for those of you who saw my first video I began with the do-it-yourself cutout whatever cutout you want to create that's the cutout that's going to be your base um, obviously mine is very simple but it worked for me and it worked for my party you can make it as elaborate as you want it you can tie balloons and have something floating up um, you can do whatever you want um, again this what worked for me and so what I did was I did my do-it-yourself cutout. If you're interested in that, go see my first video on that. I basically lined it with a hard stock and then I laminated both pieces. I, um, I'm going to take this out so you can see. I went to my 99 cent store and I bought some bamboo sticks. And I, I basically glued uh, both pieces together with the bamboo stick in it. Um, and I then... Um, decided to use the cups which were of the princess um, as the container now you can be creative and use any jar you have in your house it doesn't have to be the cups that you buy um, it could be any mason jars that you have um, whatever you have maybe that's large enough or pretty enough whatever it is that you really want to use you can use it and all I did was I cut out a piece of my styrofoam that I had at home. Um, it was just a small piece in order to fit right in the middle of my cup, and I'm going to show you how it looks inside. It was a very small piece, probably about uh, an inch or so. I didn't want it to surround the entire bottom. I didn't need that because my bamboo stick is only going to go in the middle. Um, what I would say is if you want to give it some height that will hold it a little... Um, better it's probably good but it worked fine for me so what I did was I basically used my glue gun uh, put some on the end of the styrofoam put some in my cup glued it together and took my little stand stuck it into the styrofoam and voila it stands on its own um, and then I used my centerpiece to be multi-purpose which was to hold my utensils um, because I was going to have a buffet line, I didn't want people also have to, you know, having to stand on line and carry and then have to get their utensils as well. So I said, you know what, let me just do two centerpieces for the tables, have the utensils already wrapped up with the napkin as well, so you don't need anything separate. Um, you can get on the buffet line and just get your plate and your food. Um, and in your, in your table is your centerpiece. And so it worked very well for us everyone knew exactly where it was um, and there and it was pretty so hopefully this helps someone and um, just remember it's about what you create what you envision what you design however grandiose or simple that you may want it I thought this was perfect for my daughter's first birthday um, and um, that's it so I'm happy with it um, so go out and create youtubers and have a blast